So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we're we'll doing the third part for the uh, scrolling platformer. So I'll just go through what we'll be doing today. So today we'll be just doing the jumping, moving around. Now the um, platform actually stops you and we do, we'll be doing the X scrolling. And however, there are a couple bugs. When you go to the bottom, you're not dead. We will do that in, in future videos and you can glitch to the top like that, even though you're not jumping. So we will do that later. So now let's go to our previous project. So let's go to our project. Go to my stuff. So I will scroll through the code just to let you guys look at, at it if you missed anything. So, just get anything you missed. Scroll a little slow. Okay, so now let's go to the platforms. That's all the code for the platforms, pretty simple. Not too much. So now we will be adding the scrolling. So let's go to your play game, when I receive play game script. Okay, so you wanna get the set scroll X to the X position. Set scroll X, to the X position. So now you have scrolling, X scrolling. So now we have X scrolling. That's cool. Now we have the scrolling physics. Down, let's go onto the um, player. So for the player, um, I believe we have to make a new block make a new block so we already have the change player x by now we're going to make the change player y by change player y by change player y by add one input and put s y in there like that press ok so we're going to define this block real quick so we will change the y to whatever parameter is in here. So just drag that into here. And then we want to call the position. So that's just to const position is just to constantly shift it to the scroll. So it would scroll with it. It'll, uh, go to the position of the scrolling. So after that, you want to get a repeat until repeat until not touching platforms. So repeat until not touching platforms. Platforms. And you want to change the Y by one. So this is just to make it go back up a little bit. So it won't fall through the platform. Just trying to make it even out on the platform. So you want to change the Y by one. Recall the position. So it'll keep on positioning it. And you want to go to the tick script and you want to change the Y player Y by negative eight. So now I will show you guys, as you can see, it doesn't look good. It's just falling through the, like a little bit and it's keep on bouncing up and down, up and down. And when you move, it's moving very slow and we don't want that. So what you want to do is go to the tick, click, right click, click edit and run screen without refresh. So now it will not fall through because it's running the screen without refreshing it. So you cannot see the movement because it's super fast. So now you have the scrolling and now it doesn't keep on bouncing up and down on the platform. So let's go to the player Y position. So in the tick custom block, uh, we changed the, instead of this, we can change the player S, so we can change the SY, the speed Y by negative two. And we can change the player Y by the SY, speed Y. So that if you to, are to fall to the ground from a higher ground, you'll fall faster. So like in real life, you would fall faster if you fell from a building rather than a house. So. It's basically saying that if you fall from a higher place, like up here, then you would 
go fall faster. Then we would need to change the player Y to the SY. And then we would need to set the SY back to zero up here in the Y position. If not, the, if the sprite will not fall through the platform. To make the sprite not fall through the platform, we want to put the set SY back to zero right here. All right, so now let's go on to the player position. So, and right before I continue, I would like to show you if you take out the zero, what would happen? It will fall through. As you can see, when you move, it will fall through. But if you reset the speed Y back to zero, everything is perfectly fine. All right, now we have all that down. Let's go to the uh, tick custom block. Let's get and let's move all of this down. Wait. So let's put this under here. Oops. So let's put this up here. Get an if then statement. If the key up arrow, I'm just going to duplicate this. If the key up arrow up or the W key is pressed, so we can also do WSD, then we will. Set the SY, the speed Y, to 16. That's the normal default, 16. And then you can just pop that right under here. So use this, add this code to allow the player to jump. It'll set the jump height to 16 pixels. But if the player holds up, it will keep on jumping. You can like double jump and triple jump because this negative two is not enough to override the 16. So I'll demonstrate one time. So as you can see, you can like jump like Flappy Bird. Like when you hold it, you just get stuck on top and fall back down. It's like, this is good for like Flappy Bird games or something, but not for a platform game, scrolling platform game like we're doing. So we do not want that. So we will fix that. So let's go back to the player Y position. This define change player Y by block. So we're gonna get a, we're gonna set the in air variable we have. So the in air variable, it's for the sprite only. Remember, all the lowercase ones, not in all caps, are for the player only. So remember to set it for the only for the player. So you want to set the in air back to zero, and up here you want to change the in air by one. So what the in air? Oops. So the in air. The longer the player is in the air, like when it's jumping, um, the bigger the value of the in air gets. And when it's touching the platforms, it'll reset the in air back to zero because it's not true. The player's not in the air. So next, we want to add an if then statement to the tick. Go here. Add an if then statement wrapped around the set SY to 16. So now it will not be able to jump like Flappy Bird. So now just add this. If in air is less than four, then we can set the SY to 16. So add this statement. So if the player is in the air for a bit, it will allow the player to jump. But if a player is coming down a slope or leaving the platform, they are allowed to jump. So add that if then statement wrapped around the SY. So yeah, so now let's play it. So that's all the code. As you can see, now you can jump perfectly fine. You cannot jump like Flappy Bird anymore. You can jump normally. However, there are a couple bugs. As you can see, I'm not jumping. It'll teleport to the top. We can fix that in the next video. And let me add something in the platforms, the costumes. So if you, I were to draw like a line, so like a green color, Okay, so I'm going to get the, oops, it's supposed to be like this. I'll just draw the line, just like get a green color. Maybe, maybe five thickness. Uh, actually, let's increase it to 10. Okay, so I will zoom out a little bit. Let's draw, just, oops. Let's make a green color. Okay, so I will draw like a line from this side. Let's hold down shift. Hold down shift. I'll just draw it like about this long. 
and I'll show you what happens when I do that. So when I play it, the player can automatically teleport up like that and, and go up there. We will fix that bug in the next video. But when you on top, it will stop the player. But when it's on the bottom and jumps up, it will go through. So we will fix that in the next video. I will delete this real quick. We're not going to end the video quite yet. We can teach you guys how to draw the background. So I'm going to, I think I have to import it or I think I already have it. Oh, I, ha I don't have it yet. Let me just, uh, oh yeah, I have a backpack. So I'm going to drag this one. So this one, these two we got from online. Let me just delete this one. Uh, this one we just made ourselves. We drew this one. So we're going to teach you guys how to draw your backdrop. So hey. let's open a new uh, backdrop. So first I'm going to explain what everything in here is. So for the back, for the blue sky, we made it two different colors so it can like fade out on the bottom so it'll look better. And then for the trees, we just did uh, lines with the thickness of 80. It just to like make the trees. Some of them are 70. When you go up, it will get thinner. 50, 60. And same with the other tree. These, we put vines on the side that are 20 thickness. And then we have a tree branch that's just 60 thickness with the line. And then we have a sun that's just a normal plain circle with a yellow color with no outline. And then here we just drew some of these uh, blocks with a, um, a square tool, like right there. So I will show you guys how to draw it. So I'm gonna go backdrop. So first we can get the back, the color. So we just set it like that, just draw a square, no outline. We do not want any outline. So we just drew it like that. Center your backdrop. Next, we want to draw the sun. And one thing, before we do the sun, we have to do the double fill, like we said, like the fade. So we're going to make this a light blue color, the second one, a light blue color. Like that. And then we're just going to fill the backdrop with that. So there's a little fade on the bottom. The top is darker and the bottom is lighter. So now, let's draw the trees. So we just got like a, um, we just got like a thickness of, let's, we just got the trees as a thickness of 60. We can draw the ground actually. It's just a gray color with no outline. I'm just gonna go here, draw like a gray block. Just so, just like so. Let's draw some blocks like that. Just, you can randomize them. And we have another block on top. And then we just got a 60 thickness tree branch, a uh, tree trunk. Just draw it like that. Hold down shift so you get a straight line. Don't forget to hold down shift. And then we can hide that with another gray block. Just make it go to the front. Make the other gray block go to the front. And then we can draw some lines for the tree like thickness of 80 so we're going to get the line hold down shift so you get a straight line for both trees and then you can just stretch it out a little like we're doing and then we can make it like 70 thickness now and then hold down shift Get a straight line and then maybe we can do it to 60 this time like that oops sorry about that maybe we can like center that a little do it for the other one and then finally we can do a thickness of 50 and we'll just finish off the top layer like that hold on shift and finally we can draw like some vines with a thickness of 20 
you this is optional if you want it just hold down shift so you get a straight line draw like one sh longer one shorter just like jazz up your little game backgrounds are very important in games same with music and then we'll add the sun for the final thing with a yellow color we'll just draw a circle with no outline hold down shift so you get a perfect circle since the sun is in front of everything we'll make it go to the back layer but make the uh, blue go to the back the very back layer so select the we'll select the blue background select the tree we'll just group up the tree first let's group up the tree let's make it to go to the forward front layer and there you go so that's how you draw it so we're just gonna delete it now so just we just demonstrated how to draw it so that concludes today's tutorial so we're just gonna do a recap we just drew the backdrop now we can jump around there's scrolling physics um, there's still some bugs, however. We will fix that in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest uploads on our channel. And I'll see you guys in part four for the platformer. See ya, guys.